All right, we took the Cougar bangle break for Eagles, Little Spring Lake Park, but right back into it. Second time in a week, these two teams meeting, this time at the Ice House. Bangle looking for a little revenge. Less than seven days later, Cat Clash round two. Gotta love it. Got the hashtag rolling. Even the Cougars are tweeting about Cat Clash. But it was the Bengals who were getting things started early. Matt McIntyre in the first, the lone goal in the first period. Cougars in the second, trying to come back on the power play. And they do. Connor Thompson. Lemire and Bartle with the assists on that power play goal, so it's 1-1. More bangles, though, in the second, not done. Finn, can you loft this to a lead? And he would. Finn loft this with the goal. It's 2-1. Bangles going to the final intermission. They're feeling good at home. They're feeling good enough to go get the first goal of that final period. Matt McIntyre again, a two-goal game. McIntyre and with 13 minutes to go they're up two and you're thinking we can do this at home come on everybody but the Cougars had other plans they would start a run that would see them score four straight goals started with who yep Drake Ramirez again third time we've seen him score against the Bengals so they got one on the board they're still down a goal we're going inside five minutes to go Cougars continue to hack right down low in tight and a goal Brody pass more like Brody score right there to tie the game at three apiece. We go to the three minute mark. We go to a break down the ice for the spin speedy Centennial Cougars looking for the game winning goal. Back on the wraparound for Ike Ankrum. Yep, they do. They like Ike. Ask your grandparents about that one. That's a pretty good pun right there for Ike Ankrum. 4-3, they weren't even done though because the Cougars, I promised you four goals. Owen Van Tassel makes good on that promise. Watch him streak in here. Oh, I see the puck. Bang, it goes to the back of the net. 5-3 on a flurry of four straight goals. A heart-rending loss at home for the Bengals. A lift of a win for the Centennial Cougars as they sweep their rivals on the week. How about that? Look what the Cougars did to pick up those three wins that we just saw right there. They're now 11-3-1 in boys hockey, sitting just behind Maple Grove and Andover in the Northwest Suburban Conference. Blaine's still a great record at 9-7. and seven. Still a great team that played pretty scrappy there against Centennial and just had that flurry at the end of Spring Lake Park. Four wins in conference, five overall as we head towards the home stretch of this regular hockey season, regular hockey games. Blythe, what do we got coming up next? Yeah, taking a look at the schedules for boys hockey, Blaine going to have two away games, Andover on the 11th, and then they'll head to Maple Grove on the 13th. Centennial going to have some home games, so they'll be taking on Armstrong Cooper to up on the 9th and the 11th, Elk River Zimmerman and Spring Lake Park. That last one for our teams will have away and home. So they'll take on Armstrong Cooper the 11th and the 13th, Coon Rapids.